Hey y'all, it's your girl Jilly here. Moving on to Cancer and Capricorn in a relationship. I do ask for your forgiveness. I am in my sleeping robe and I am ready to get ready to go to bed, but I wanted to pop out a video for you guys so you guys can get these videos out quickly. Now, Cancer and Capricorn, are they compatible? Well, I think so. I don't know where people get the idea that opposite signs of the zodiac are not compatible. I highly disagree with people who think that. I happen to believe that opposite signs of the zodiac are very, very compatible. And Cancer and Capricorn are no exception. They are opposite sides of the zodiac wheel. Now, Cancer's ruler is the moon. Capricorn's ruler is Saturn. R moon is the ruler of emotions. And Saturn is the ruler of discipline. Their elements, Cancer's element is water. Capricorn's element is earth. Water makes the earth grow into something absolutely positively beautiful. So yes, their elements are very complementary. Now these two actually have a lot in common, a lot in common. These two are cardinal signs. So these signs are go-getters. They're very goal-oriented. They're very disciplined. They're very hardworking and because they're opposite signs, opposite signs of the zodiac are instantly and physically attracted to one another. They are sexually drawn to each other immediately. So once they lay eyes on each other, there's that instant attraction, like I gotta know that person, I gotta know what this person's about, I gotta have that person. So they instantly have this with each other. They are also put a lot of priority in having stability and security financially. They both agree on this, this matter. They also both have trust issues. They don't trust people very easily, but when it comes to each other, that trust comes almost immediately. It's, it's like a spiritual connection that neither one of them can explain. They, that trust comes very, very easily for these two. They're also very traditional. When these two build a home together and they have a family together, traditional values are very very important think christmas and thanksgiving big family gatherings passing family heirlooms on to their children teaching what they learned when they were kids and passing that on to their children so traditions are very very important to these two and they agree on that these these two can actually make a wonderful beautiful home life capricorn has a reputation for being very cold and very stiff and yeah, they have that about them. That's because they're so disciplined, but they don't show that side, of that, that silly, joking, and fun side to other people unless they trust those people or love those people. So yeah, believe it or not, Capricorn is very, very emotional. Very. They just don't reveal that to everybody because not everybody is worthy of that, at least according to Capricorn. Cancer, however, is a very emotional sign, wears their heart on their sleeve. And because of this, they can get Capricorn to open up real easily. So Capricorn automatically feels safe and secure to be themselves with Cancer. There's a sense of comfort and nurturing with these two, which is absolutely beautiful once these two get together. Now, they, they do have some opposites uh, uh, that make them clash, so let's go ahead and get to that. Um, let's say, for example, these two do build a home together, which they're more than likely going to do at, at, over time. Now, they both agree that money is important. Cancer wants to keep money in the bank, you know, and Capricorn wants to keep money in the bank and keep making money, but the thing is, Cancer puts more priority on the home and family, whereas Capricorn puts more priority in their career. And Capricorn, please don't get mad at me. I'm just giving astrological information. Capricorns tend to put career over their relationships and over their own family. Career is everything to them. Career, status, prestige, money. That's the most important thing to a Capricorn. And this will often leave Cancer feeling neglected, feeling unloved, feeling abandoned, and even make Cancer um, passive aggressive. And they can even be a little harsh towards the Capricorn because they feel, you know, they feel neglected. Now, if they do have children, 
you know, Cancer is more of a nurturer and a lover and a caregiver, whereas Capricorn is more of the disciplinarian. And which is actually good. You need a nurturing parent and you need a disciplinarian. But sometimes Cancer can see Capricorn as being too hard on children. And Cancer is like, okay, you need to let children be children. They're, they have to enjoy their childhood. And Capricorn is like, no, I need them to be the best they can possibly be. And you got to start young. So they can have some disagreements here. Also, um, because Capricorn can be a little too too practical and too logical, they don't ever quite understand Cancer's mood swings. Cancers have mood swings and they change with the phases of the moon, which is their ruler. So Capricorn tends to get really frustrated because they never know what is bothering Cancer and why they're acting so moody because Cancer doesn't, they don't open up. They kind of just have their mood and hide into their shell. These two are also prone to getting depressed and sad. So if Cancer gets depressed, Usually Capricorn follows suit and there's no one to really lift each other up there. So there's that. All in all though, this is a very, very compatible couple and they can make it for the long run. Now the bedroom. Now one thing you know about Capricorn. Capricorn, when you first have sex with Capricorn, it's very, very vanilla, very, very um, basic, which is perfectly fine with Cancer. Cancer is all about giving anyway, so Cancer is all about that. Now, because Capricorn has trust issues and they don't open up very easily, they don't want to show that real side to them, their real sexual nature, until they learn to trust somebody. They do open up to Cancer and learn to trust Cancer quite quickly. And Cancer, being the loving, nurturing sign that they are, they show this by being loving in the bedroom, by being very giving, by being very nurturing, by making Capricorn feel safe. Now, once Capricorn feels safe, that vanilla sex I was talking about earlier is out the door. Capricorn is kinky as hell, y'all. Very, very kinky. They are so freaky. This is the type of sign that wants a gentleman or a lady in the streets and a freak in the sheets. And they get freaky. Now, Cancer is not going to get put off by this because by, by this time, these two are probably already in love and Cancer feels safe and secure with Capricorn. So Cancer, being the giver that they are, are going to give in to Capricorn's kinky side and entertain them a little bit because, you know, Capricorn likes to be a boss in the bedroom and Cancer um, does usually play the submissive role. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. You can always support my channel by making a donation to the link below, but really, like, sharing, and subscribing is enough support, and I really appreciate that. Also, if you want to vote in a future say-so on videos that I put out, and you want to keep seeing me grow and keep seeing me produce more videos, please follow me on Instagram and have a say-so and put your input there. I always listen. I always try to my best to respond. It's your girl, Jilly. Peace. I love you guys. Thank you so much.